sometimes when creating tutorials like this over basic stuff, it's hard to think about what to show first. So this might have been a command that could have been coming a little bit earlier, but how to change directory. So let's say you want to move to a different folder. Right now I'm in my home folder. I can type in CD for change directory and then type in what folder I want to go to. Uh, so I can say forward slash temp and that will bring me to my temp folder. Um, I can then from there CD into a folder I have called test. Now I want to point out a few differences between the two commands I just typed. You notice this one starts with a forward slash and this one did not. Forward slash here at the very beginning means your root directory, your all the way to the beginning of your hard drive, uh, you know, as far as directories go. Uh, where if you don't have it, it means a file or a folder in the current directory. So for example, if I want to go back to the temp folder, I can type in cd backslash temp to get there. But if I leave out that backslash, it's going to tell me that directory does not exist because there is no TMP folder in the current directory I am in. So another thing I could do um, is, well, at any point, if you want to get back to your home directory on most systems, if you just type CD and hit enter, it's going to bring you to your home directory. So I'm in my home directory, which is uh, uh, shown by this little um, tilde here, this little squiggly line. Uh, that indicates your home directory. So I could also go cd tilde and it brings me to my home directory. But you don't need to do that because, like I said, cd just brings you home directory. Now let's say I wanted to go to this test folder that's inside the temp folder. Uh, I can't just test uh, cd test because it's going to go, there's no directory in the current directory you are in uh, called test. So I have to tell it the full path that I want to go to, cd temp test and that works and again if I'm already in my temp directory I can cd into test because that folder is inside the folder I'm in. So we looked at folders in the current directory. We looked at typing full paths starting with the forward slash. I showed you that just typing cd will bring you to your home directory other things you can do. So let's go back into our temp test folder. Other things you can do, well let me actually go show you one, is if I can go cd dot dot backslash and the dot dot backslash will bring you up one folder. And in fact, if I cd test to go back into that test folder, I should be able to cd dot dot. Yeah, you know, I, I tend to type the backslash, you don't need that. Dot dot just means the current, the directory above the current directory and so the folder above the directory and so I can go cd test and then there's a test2 folder. So now I'm, I'm in a folder uh, and my system set show me what folder I'm in right here on my uh, little uh, uh, prompt. So I'm in a folder temp and inside that I'm inside a folder called test and inside that I'm in a folder called test2. So I can say cd dot dot and I move up one, cd dot dot, and now I'm back up in my temp directory. If I cd dot dot, I'm in my root directory. If I cd dot dot, I don't go anywhere because I'm as high as I can go in the, in the tree of directories. Uh, so to move back into my folder here, and again, I was using tab to autocomplete. I went over that, I think, in the very first or second video that I've done in this series. I can also, let's say I want to move up two directories, I can cd dot dot backslash dot dot backslash or really you don't need that last backslash and it moved me up from the test two directory it moved me up two directories back into my temp directory so that's what the dot dot means now there's also a single dot and single dot just means the current directory so as I said you could do cd test to move into test and I can do cd dot dot to go back one you see I still understand I have it use that backslash I could also do cd dot forward slash test to move into the test directory. And if I do cd dot dot backslash again, I should also, I think, do cd dot test. Okay, no, you need the forward slash if it's a folder there. So the dot just means current directory. In lots of cases, you don't need it because I can just cd test rather than cd dot forward slash test. 
Uh, there are cases though where you do need the dot slash mainly running programs that are in your current directory, which we'll talk about in a future video. Uh, also want to point out that uh, folders and files are case sensitive. I am using Z shell, so it's a little more, I can type in test here and it's not gonna work. But if I was to hit tab here, Z shell changes it to capital T. So just keep that in mind that I can't CD, let me go back. I can't CD into test because test does not exist with the lowercase t. Test exists with the capital T. Uh, but again, since I'm using Z shell with my setup, if I hit tab, it auto corrects that for me, which is nice. Uh, it's one of the reasons I use Z shell over bash. If your default shell is bash, uh, that will not work. I can do CD test and hit tab all I want. And test is not a directory, so it's not gonna work. And actually, in this case, there is actually a file called test with lowercase t. So it's a little different there. But um, that's it for uh, the basics of changing directory. I hope that that made sense to you. Again, I might be going kind of fast. I'm trying to get through the basics here. It's a video you can always pause and rewind. Uh, be sure to let me know below in the comments. What do you think? Are you enjoying these tutorials on the, the shell script basics? I will get to, to more fun things in future videos. I'm just trying to get through some of the basics here real quickly in these first couple of weeks. Uh, if you're a little lost, have you watched the full playlist? Be sure to check out the annotation on the screen or in the description for the full playlist. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment. And also, um, that just that just helps support my videos. If you want to be a financial supporter, you go to patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. Should be a link to that in the description as well. Uh, you can support me financially there. I would appreciate that if you could. If not, just like, sh share, subscribe, and comment. That helps me out a lot. Please visit my website, Films by Chris. That's Chris with a K. Uh, there should be a link in the description. And as always, have a great day.